everyone, and welcome back to Live with Brink of Speed and Octane Hour. Tonight, we've got Darren. Hey, everyone. And myself. And uh, we're going to talk about the 2023 Z06 orders being pushed to maybe 2024. And if this is going to help you get a Stingray faster. So welcome, everyone. I see there's a lot of people in here tonight already chatting it up. I appreciate you guys joining us. This was a short notice live for sure, um, but we had some conflicting things going on this Tuesday, so we went ahead and did it tonight. So we will not be going live this Tuesday night, just so you know. Also, today is 9-11, and it is the 21st year after that horrific event happened. So I just wanted to bring it up and just say how horrible that day was, and uh, we definitely uh, will never forget that day for sure so definitely um but yeah thanks for joining us uh let's go through and say hello to the folks that are already in here all the normal suspects it yeah, looks like yeah. ever jeff scott white steven rap emil candy alan sanders or saunders Neil. Curry, great white north corvette heck yeah oh which we got to congratulate him he got over his thousand subscribers oh i know i sent him a congratulations yeah good, the day good it job happened. Yes, congratulations, Andrew. And if any of you on here haven't subscribed to him yet, do so. Go over to the Great White North Corvette and give him a subscribe. Uh, let's see. We've got Caleb Smith on here. Welcome. Lance, welcome. Stephanie Mead, welcome. Ever Jeff, Speed Candy, Peter Carey. All right. Peter Carey is back with us. Welcome. We love having him on here. Neil is on here. That's the first time we've seen him. But he has a good question, which fits perfectly into what we're going to be discussing. So thank you, Neil. We're going to get to that question for sure. Yeah, and Peter, I understand. I know your story about 9-11. And, man, what a day. I know what this is for you. So uh, as usual, my thoughts and prayers are with you, man. Uh, Jim Lee, Greg, welcome. Uh, Gavin Chu, so lots of great people in here. Thank you again so much for joining. Um, let's go over the agenda. So of course, we're gonna do weekly giveaways, monthly giveaways. And by the way, we've got an uh, announcement about the monthly giveaways and then main topic, and then we'll jump into Q and A. Um, so as far as the weekly giveaway, I think you've got a couple of shirts that we're gonna do today. Yeah, we want to do, you know, a lot of people have been asking the last couple of weeks, and if you were in Carlisle, you would have seen these shirts, and of course you've seen us wearing them. Uh, but this is the new Brink of Speed merchandise. We've got two different shirts. We've got the uh, G.I. Joe BOS shirt, as Mike is calling it, and we'll have two sizes, large, extra large. And then we will also be doing the Thumbs Up Squad shirt, which is also very popular. It's the Back to the Future Thumbs Up Squad. And same deal. Whoever wins that, uh, we've got large, extra large. So you're in luck today. We will get you the size that you need. And as always, we are going to do some trivia questions. And if you're at home, I'm, I'm taking this from uh, our friend Rick Conti did that. I don't know if you saw his, his video he did the other day. There's an there's article in here about 70 questions for the 70th anniversary to nice. see if you're a true Corvette fan. So I'm stealing... <laughs> Some of his questions. So if you watch this video, maybe it'll help you out. Yeah, he did have a lot of good questions there. Uh, as far as the monthly giveaway goes, we have not been contacted by the winner from last week. So we would like to go ahead and do a redraw. I was going to wait till Tuesday to do it, but now we're doing this on Sunday. So we're going to do a redraw. So all of you out there still have a chance of winning the Amador Designs uh, C8 flag. Now, from now on going forward, next Tuesday, a week from, you know, two days from now, uh, we will have a brand new giveaway and uh, the same rules to be entered into that giveaway will remain the same. So we'll go over that at that time. Um, but other than that, I think we can go ahead and, oh wait, you have one thing about the wheels. We wanted to yeah, talk we'll about just, we'll just give Forge a quick, Light wheels. Quick plug again. A lot of people yeah. ask questions and sent messages, which we appreciate. Um, so we talked about it a little bit last week. Wheel Designers is, is working with us and our subscribers. 
if you purchase a set of their Forge Light wheels, which are the new wheels that they're, they're bringing to market, they're the 100% Forge wheels uh, manufactured in Southern California. Uh, just some real basic quick facts about them. Lifetime warranty. He, he's giving everyone, if you mention Brinka Speed, you're going to get free shipping, $100 off, free lug nuts, and he told us we could say it. If you guys mentioned that we said it, you'll get them ceramic coated for free. And I should say one caveat to that is this actually, he, he's extended this. It's not just the Forge Light wheels. So this is for any of the wheels that he sells on wheel designers. So he has Vossens. Uh, Jacob just brought it up there so everyone can see. Uh, I mean, Stance. I mean, pretty much any name brand wheel that you would want to purchase, he has. Yes. And from our own experience working with him before we had this deal with him, his, his lead times are as quick as they are in the industry, and he's easy to deal with. You just need to call him, tell him what year your Corvette is, and he'll help you with the sizing. You're not going to have to guess on offsets and, and what you need. He'll give you everything that you need and, and send you on your way. So uh, wheeldesigners.com if you want to check that out. Yeah, and we're excited about that giveaway. We'll announce when it actually goes live. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome, guys. It's going to be amazing. So, so what about this 2023 Z06? Um, well, I got a message from a good friend, Greg Lee, last Tuesday night. And he messaged me something that GM Authority had put up. And GM Authority had put up a article about what GM was doing with the Z06. And by the way, thank you, Greg, for that article. As I told him, most of the time what GM Authority puts up, I take with a grain of salt. Um, they like to put up a bunch of stuff that a lot of times does not come true. But some of the stuff that they put up actually does come true. So um, I wanted to send this article to my inside source. And so I went ahead and did that because what they were saying on this article was that the likelihood of GM producing the 2023 Z06 once January hit was actually pretty small. They thought that GM would probably go ahead and push it off and wait till like April when they're going to start the new model year and go ahead and start producing a 2024 Z06. So like I said, this is speculation from GM Authority. So I sent that to my inside source and said, what do you think about this? Do you think this is true? And he came back right away and didn't say it was true. But what he did say is that he thought a lot of their points were correct. He also said that a small percentage of C8s compared to what they were planning on doing were definitely in plans for 2023. But... He thought a large percentage of those, which he gave a number, 90% of those would actually not be built for a 2023 year model. He said that it would probably go ahead and be pushed to 2024. So I thought that was really interesting and I wanted to share that with you guys. And then the mid-engine Corvette forum came out with an article stating last Thursday that dealerships got massive amounts of allocations and they thought it had to do with the fact that they're no longer going to make the Z06 uh, you know between now and January and that GM decided to go ahead and ramp up the amount of C8s that they're the stingrays that they were going to produce now that they had freed their lineup from not having to do both Z06s and c 8 uh, stingrays. I keep saying C8, but it's really stingray. And so um, once I saw that article, I sent that to my inside source. And he said he agreed with it 100% and that he had actually experienced it himself with his own dealership. He was on the list and he was pretty far down on that list. And he said Thursday, he called them and said, hey, just wanted to check. I heard you guys are getting a lot of allocations. And they said, yeah, You're up. we actually did get a, a lot of allocations. He says they got eight times the amount of allocations that they normally get. Now, he's at a small dealership. Right. So that might mean that they got 16 instead of two. 
is what I'm probably. Well, doing. we've been hearing from different friends that were on different lists too of some small dealerships that there was dealers that hadn't received allocations for four to six weeks. Right. So exactly, and that's another. Thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. So they have received all these allocations, and it bumped him up the list so far that they said, "By the way, we're ready to go ahead and take your order right now." So he ordered his 2023 C8 on Thursday. No, it's awesome. Yeah. So it's really cool. So I think that is exciting news. Whether the Z06 news is correct or not, we don't know. We, you know, we hope for the best. We hope that in January we get an uh, announcement from GM saying, you know what, over the last four months, we've stockpiled parts. We're ready to get going and we're going to make, you know, uh, 2,800 or 2,600 and some change Z06s now between now and April. Yeah, you know, it'll be interesting. I marked it on my calendar and we get closer. I'll remind her everyone. Um, I believe it's October 23rd, GM has their third quarter earnings uh, oh, okay. call. Okay. And anyone can get on it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know So that. I'll make sure we get the number for everyone to dial into because obviously there's going to be a lot of questions. Forget about just the Corvette, just their whole supply chain issues. Right. To figure out you know, what's going on. Are they going to, I mean, they're publicly traded companies, so they're going to talk about it. Sure. And there'll be some disclosures because people are going to want to know. That's so really good to know, man. It'll be interesting if any information comes to light there that we could relate back to the corvette situation I, mean, I suspect there will be sure so keep an eye on that yeah so ultimately the reason why i wanted to go live today and talk about this immediately um is because of the fact that now i think it's um very beneficial for you to reach out to your dealership on monday tomorrow and say hey i heard uh, a lot of dealerships got massive amounts of allocations where does that put me on the list now if you're already on their list? If you're not on a dealership's list yet and you've been kind of like, I don't know whether I should get a, a C8 Stingray or wait for the Z06, but you've kind of made your mind up now, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, take the plunge and get a Stingray. Um, I think it would definitely be beneficial for you to get on a list because now the next four months or maybe even six months, uh, you may be able to get something, especially if you reach out to the rural type dealers. Yeah, I was going to add to that. Ask your friends or people that you run into that have, I mean, flat out ask them, where did you buy your car? What was your experience? And, mm -hmm. you know, maybe they dealt with a mid-sized dealership, wherever it may be, and they dealt with the Corvette specialist. Because, you know, because you've done videos where you've called in and yes. got random people. You could, you could call into the same dealership three times and have three different answers. So if you can get the right person at the right dealership, that's going to go a long ways. Mm -hmm. And my experience in talking to some of my friends that have been on long list, you know, these dealers have had lists going now for three and four years. Right. And there's names on those lists. They flat out don't have no idea who these people are. <laughs> so some of these dealerships are really, I mean, people's names are just disappearing off lists. Yes. So get back in front of these dealers, find the right person to talk to, let them know you're serious. And, and you might be surprised. You might yeah. be really surprised that you get a car sooner than, than you think. And think about big dealerships like McMulcom, Criswell, and Sioka. If this small dealership got that many allocations, how many did they get? You might want to call them and say, hey, I heard you guys got a crap load of allocations. Can I get on your list? And does it look good for you guys to be able to hit a larger number than you were expecting to hit with the C8s now between now and in the end of the year so i don't know i think that's a really yeah just like i said leverage relationships with people you know because think about it the last three or four years you've got huge there's always huge turnover in the car mm -hmm. sales industry anyways so i mean this one dealership flat out told me this they're going down their list they may have 50 people that were on their list associated with you know john doe ex salesperson that's been gone for 18 months they don't even know who this person is and quite frankly they don't even care right. they're just scratching them off now Obviously, if there's dealerships where there's money involved and people have deposits, that's a different situation. But there's plenty of dealerships, even the ones that I've dealt with, that do not take any money. Right. Oh, yeah. And those Absolutely. are the best ones because yeah, that's your best situation where, yes. like I said, they're just weeding out their list. And you may get in a situation where you get a pretty decent uh, time frame. Yeah. So. In fact, I'm on a couple of lists for the Z06 where they didn't even take a deposit, not even $1,000. So, and who knows if I'm ever going to get the car. Yeah, there, there's, there's, good, there's good and bad that comes from that for sure. sure. The, the good is, is if you get the right person and they like you and you bought another car, that's why I tell people, I mean, I did it. 
if, if you buy a brand new Tahoe or a Chevy truck or you've referred five people to them, hey, raise your hand and say, remember, I've sent right. you a lot of business. Right. What's it going to take for me to get a CA? And maybe you get a little extra love. I mean, it happens. It's just how sales work. Love it or hate it. It happens. That is correct. So, you know, leverage those relationships. Talk, talk to people that you see. Ask them where they got their car. Um, you know, we're probably a little bit lucky here in Texas because we have a lot of dealerships. There's a huge yeah. car market. That's true. And unfortunately, a lot of the dealers that I've worked with and talked to, they're no longer selling to people out of the area or out of the state just because they just don't want to deal with it and they don't yeah. have to. So, you know, you spend probably your time and resources, maybe local dealerships or in your same state. Calling here to Texas probably doesn't get you very far, you know, unless you have a, a, a second home here. They're probably not going to deal. I mean, there's one dealer, you know who I'm talking about. He won't even call you back. Yeah. I mean, if he sees your area code's not from him, he won't call you back. Right. right. So it's just, it's just how it works. I mean, but, you know, th there's still opportunities out there. Absolutely. So, by the way, if you're just now joining us, thank you for joining. If you guys haven't smashed the thumbs up button, please do so. That really helps. And uh, let's get to some of these uh, questions and comments here. Yeah, one thing too, Mike, as we're perusing that, one thing we kind of skipped over is uh -huh. we need to thank everyone that was at uh, Corvettes and Coffee oh, yeah. yesterday. Yeah, very correct. As always, you know, we've been doing it kind of well, since back since June. We kind of got back in the, the swing of things, mm -hmm. and yesterday was as many people as we've ever had. I mean, it yeah, was busy. It was amazing. Um, yeah, it's always a blast to do the Corvettes and Coffee as well. Um, you get to meet so many great people, see so many great cars. And we're doing giveaways. I mean, I think we gave away, what, six things? We had quite a few things going. Yeah. Um, no, um, it was definitely a good time. Some really cool cars. And I stay know, tuned. I haven't even told you this yet. Oh, but wait, there's more? There's more. Okay. I had a discussion with the owner of Corvette World, and he actually wants to get involved in the giveaways, and he wants to make them bigger. That's, no joke. That's, I can think of a lot of ways we can go with that. So, and remember, they don't just sell cars there. Hint, that's hint. correct. Exhaust. That's uh, correct. Wheels. Air intakes. Anything that goes on your C7, C8, mm -hmm. C6, C5, they're selling. So that's awesome. So, yeah, he was, uh, he was asking me a lot of questions. We had a good talk, and he wants to get involved. I'm not sure exactly how soon it'll be, but he actually talked about next month maybe doing something that's pretty awesome. big. That's awesome. So, yeah, I mean, it's nice to give away shirts. It's nice to give away blower bands and other things that we gave away. But for people to show up and be able to win something and then, you know, have it installed on their car while they're there or maybe, you know, the following Monday or Tuesday or something like that, what an awesome thing that would be. Yeah, so, that would be super cool. Uh, you guys, if you haven't shown up to a Corvettes and Coffee, it's definitely worth it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, and stay tuned. I mean, we, we didn't really talk about it tonight. We kind of handed it to it, but last week we spent a little bit of time. We do have our biggest giveaway yet coming. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's, we just haven't organized it for the entry on the website, which is coming soon. Um, but it will be a set of forged light wheels. Um, you can do 1920s, 2021s. You can have C7 uh, or C8, maybe by the time, maybe C6. I don't want to commit to that, but sure. definitely C7, C8 for sure. They're trying to get to all the generations uh, down to like C5? I think. Uh, C6 for sure. C6, okay. Yeah. And in theory, you know, he's going to be doing BMW, Mercedes, Audi, sure. a bunch of other stuff. But our giveaway is going to be targeting C7, C8, forged light wheels, and you'll have a choice of pretty much any color uh, you right. want. And, of course, the lug nuts and all that. So stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned for sure. And we're going to make that where everyone's eligible. So good news. You don't have yes. to buy anything. or That's right. Uh, so a lot of good comments in here. Um, I know a lot of people are talking about, well, not a lot, but there's people talking about Racer X and what happened with him. Um, but you know what? That, that but, And that's very unfortunate. And, and look, you and I have both been involved in that same situation. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um. It is what it is. It, what I'll say, I mean, I'll let the cat out of the bag. I was in that exact same dealership situation. And what I did is I changed my situation and got on their CA list. Yeah, exactly. Because I was on that list before really anyone in our group. April of 2020, I was on the Z06 list. Yes. And I know the salespeople there. They know me. They knew I wasn't going to be wanting to participate in the charitable donation. Right. 
Not that I don't give money to charity. I just wasn't exactly. gonna. But yeah. and that was fine. So he he had told me, look, let's put you on the C8 list and get you a C8. And f- going full circle, I'll just tell everyone now. I have a new 70th anniversary edition car coming, being built the week of the 26th. So I think the goal is hopefully I have it by the next cars and or uh, Corvettes and coffees at Corvette World and. Our, our, our running joke amongst the three or four of us is I haven't told anyone what color I've, I've gotten yet. So it's exactly. going to be either the pearl white or the carbon flash. So we'll maybe make that some sort of fun giveaway of some sort as we get closer. But We're going to give your car away? No, we're not giving my car away. <laughs> Come uh, on, man. <laughs> but, you know, so that's how I turn that situation into a positive for me. And I mean, and I think a lot of people are starting to do that with their. Oh, for business. sure, for uh, sure. Deposits, on, and, and that's on why what we it. just said, and other people said, call your dealerships, call them back because yes. conversations need to be revisited. So much has changed. People have changed, and, and I know people are getting axed off lists or a check mailed to them. Yeah, and they're going to check them. What's this for? Oh, we've cleaned up our list, and we haven't right. heard from you in two years, type thing. So, yes. revisit your situations. You know, and all you can do is, I mean, like anything in life, hedge your bets. Get on more than one list because, unfortunately, things change. And, yep. you know, you can be told one thing and get the, you know, something else. So. All right. So, New Horizon is on. What's going on, man? Uh, I guess, yeah, he couldn't make it yesterday. Mm. Wedding prep. All right. Oh, boy. No worries, man. So he, you know what, but, but Carlos New Horizons CA, you guys should also go check oh, out yeah. his page. Absolutely. He does really cool videos, mostly like do it yourself type videos, at least is what he started with. And he did one and I know we've all seen it, but he breaks it down real simple on how to do it. And, and we need to do it on our cars. Did you see, it just came out the other day. It's uh, you, you go to like Hobby Lobby, you get a piece of vinyl, whatever color you want to put in that team Corvette on your windshield. So in the front of your windshield, it says Team Corvette. So what guys okay. are doing now is they're getting a colored piece of vinyl, sliding it down in there. So it looks like it says Team Corvette in red or orange oh, or yellow. I didn't, yeah. It's a little accent yeah. that looks really cool. But he, he breaks down how to tape it off, measure it, take the tweezers. It's nice. a you know, two-minute video. And look, we could all probably figure it out, but I'd probably have a couple four-letter words and hitting my head on the windshield and everything else. Right. And he breaks it down, makes it real simple. And, but go check yeah. it out. I mean, all of his videos are excellent. That's all there is to it. He, he does an excellent job on those. Uh, Walter says, what's up, guys? Great info. Are there any restraints or constraints uh, on new ones with the Stingray? There are a couple right now. Um, the Z51 is on constraint. The Edge Red caliper, the Edge Red engine cover. Um, what else? There's one more thing with the 70th that's on constraint. Or maybe not. Maybe those are the two things because... You can't order a 70th right now because of those two things. Well, and my experience with brand- the, just so people know, the 70th anniversary, my situation was I 100% wanted MagRide, and I wanted right. the Z51. So, for example, Mark was actually many, many behind, behind me, yeah, and yeah. along with one of my other friends, and they leaped over me because I was just holding steady, Yes, and they knew that I wasn't going to budge. So it took way longer to finally get an allocation accepted, and then... I've been 3,000 status, which means my allocation was accepted by GM for almost 10 weeks. So it's taking, it's taken a way long time. Um, so actually, I was, I was at Corvette. I didn't even tell you. I don't know if I told you this. Yet. I was at Corvette World when they called me yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. To tell you he that. called me and said, hey, oh, congratulations. Nice. You're, you're built week is the 26th. It was kind of wasn't a surprise. So. That's awesome, man. Uh, Vet Sweetness says, what's up, BOS squad? Kind of like what Darren is saying. That is not what you know it's who you know yep it's a hundred percent i I tell the story about my first one that i bought you know how i I, did i ever tell you the story Mm -hmm. so perry steakhouse very popular here in south lake grapevine area in texas i was um walking in to the restaurant to meet some people it was a friday late you know early afternoon or late evening and um this guy pulled in in a brand new red stingray convertible just i mean started talking to him and I said, hey, you're the coolest kid at Perry's tonight. I mean, because they're parking them up front next to the Ferrari oh, yeah, and everything else. Yeah. And uh, he kind of, you know, we laughed a little bit. And I said, you know, where'd you get this car? And sure enough, he goes, hey, call so-and-so at this dealership. Told them, tell them I sent you. And I had a car in five months. Yeah. 
and that was this is almost a year ago so it goes back to no matter what is happening with these cars it's who you know networking and you know name drop people's name if you got the right person it'll get you probably further than you think all right let's see uh ken taylor says i want the captain america model Hmm? Everything has a price now. Here, you sell that. Here's, uh, here's the deal. You. Yeah, I know. Here's the deal. I'm trying to get the creator of this to make at least one more because I would like to uh, do something with it and allow one of my fans to you know, be able to purchase it or whatever. It would Auction be cool. It, off. I don't it know. would be cool going into the end of the year, and you and I haven't really talked about it much lately, but I know... As we get to December, we're, we're definitely going to be involved in some sort of food or toy drive. Oh, yeah. And, and correlate that with Corvettes and Coffee where well, maybe they we, do it there. Right. But maybe we deliver them or something. Sure. And it would be kind of cool maybe to all proceeds go to some sort of charity. Yes, I agree. So maybe, Jason, if you're watching, does that move the needle for you? <laughs> Do it for the kids, please. The Come kids. on, Jason. But if you, guys, if you guys saw this thing in person, it literally looks exactly like his car. It really it's does. pretty amazing. I don't know. Did he ever tell you exactly how long it took him to do it? Or was oh, he too I know. Or he didn't want to tell it took you? took him a couple weeks. To... But how many man hours do you think he's Oh, done? I don't know. I mean, it's... He does giant ships, uh, Star Trek ships, and that's why he's so good at it because um, he's been doing them for years and years and years. So it definitely took him a long time. Um, I don't remember if he even told me how many hours, but it was, you know, he said it was a lot of hours. Mm-hmm. And you can tell it's unbelievable. I had it on my car yesterday in the, tr- you know, in the uh, back area. And lots of people that walked up were just like amazed at how it looks exactly like the real thing. So no, it truly does. It's pretty awesome. Maybe we can get Mr. Producer to zoom in on it and make it crystal clear for us. <laughs> uh, let's get to some more of these uh, comments. We've got a lot of comments. Thank you guys for all the comments. This is awesome. Uh, Joseph says, thank you for this info. As I was scheduled to get my car in November, I will call on Monday, see where I'm at. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, Z06 build start tomorrow. Affirmative. Yeah, the 291. Uh, Peter Carey says, oh, you've got to be, you got to get the model maker to make another Captain America model. Boy, if he mass produced them, he'd never be able to, Keep up with the sales. I mean, yeah, I think there's a lot of people out there that would like him, but he specifically told me once he does that, it goes from being a hobby mm-hmm. to a full-time job. And he's always considered what he did on the side as a hobby. He has a very full-time job, uh, so he can't do both. But maybe we can talk him into making at least one more. I hope he would make more than that, but at least one more. Because I'm not going to get rid of that. Unless you pay me a lot of money. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Harold Elmore, he's just echoing what a lot of people's frustrations is. He's, he's done with the Z06 hype. And he says he's going to get Who said it. that? Uh, Elmore. With the Z06, and he's yeah. going to start looking for a C7 or a C8. Right. Which is so many people. And, and yeah. you know what? Rightfully so, because these time frames, I mean, you can't believe anything at this point. To, to say that this is going to be up and running in December or January, right? You I just, mean... Yeah, you don't know. And on the Mid-Engine Corvette forum, on that article that's linked in the description, a guy actually put up a picture of his new Lamborghini. It's not new. It's a Gallardo. Mm-hmm. But he said, I was tired of waiting for the Z06. I'm done. I went and pulled the trigger on this Gallardo. And John asked him specifically, uh, specifically, well, how much did you pay for it if you don't want, mind me asking? And did you have to pay over? And he asked him quite a few questions. And he basically said, I had a $145,000 build on a Z06 and I paid almost 50000 less for this thing. And it has low miles. It is a really pretty car. Am I interested in a Gallardo? No, I would never want a Gallardo. But there's a lot of people out there that do. So he fulfilled or he filled the spot that the Z06 was going to fill with an exotic car. And that's what a lot of people are going to do. I've, I've gotten so many comments, emails. I'm getting a Porsche now. 
I'm getting a Lamborghini, I'm getting a Ferrari, I'm not waiting on the Z06 anymore. And that's just how it is. We'll see what happens in January. But um, for now, I would say either do that or get yourself a C8. Let's see, we got more new comments. Uh, Mr. Media says, what other interests and hobbies do all of you have? We would like to know what, what other interests you guys have. Do you guys like fishing? Do you like guns? Um, what other things do you like to uh, Motorcycles. watch on? Yeah, watch on YouTube. Because you just never know what Brink of Speed's going to do. Right. We all have motorcycle endorsements. So. <laughs> Minus Mark, but he can ride on the back of yours. Revo Lee says he's tired of waiting. I don't think I'll ever get Mark on the back of a bike. No. <laughs> he would barely hold Jacob's gun, let alone get on the back of a motorcycle. Mm, he's where? Where is he? He's not on here either. Yeah. Uh, Mark, oh, he had tennis, but it's yeah. five thirty, so maybe he's done. Mark. Mark couldn't make it. No, I think he had tennis at five thirty. Oh. Yeah, that's why he couldn't make it. Okay. So. Um. I like silent yachts. Are they making battery powered <laughs> EV yachts? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, enjoy drag racing my 5.0. Nice. Awesome. Do you have anything done to it? What kind of times are you putting down? What's C8 production status, not counting the Z06? Are you asking for a full 2023? production status because i think i saw they're at like 30 no they got to be higher than that i don't remember the, I, the I, amount that they've already done yeah the sure. amount of 2023 i wish mark was here because he knows that I that know. number right off the head. i mean i could look on my face on that guy's facebook page um but i don't but I, I don't i don't think they're either they're, they're same pace as last year right pretty much I, oh yeah i don't they think are. they're yeah. far ahead or far behind no I think they might make up for that now in the next four months. Well, more than four months. They have till April of next year to finish 2023 year out. So, they well, may, yeah, they may be able to. And and everyone keep us posted, especially going to next week. Let us know what you're hearing because there's Walter Jones again on this mag ride still on constraints. Like, let us know what your dealers are telling you. Um, are you hearing that's on constraint or, or or not on constraint? I believe mag ride is partial constraint right now. It's not a hundred percent. Yeah, but here's another, and, and I don't see Elijah Ray on here because he has a car being built soon too, and I had helped him out. Just we were texting back and forth. You got to stay on top of these dealers because they don't always know. Right. And he had a situation. They told him he couldn't get mag ride because he wasn't getting a Z51 car. I said a hundred percent false. You can absolutely get mag ride. Yeah. So he actually kind of argued back and forth with them for it took a week or two, and they finally said, okay, we'll look into it. And sure enough, they they agreed to it, but. It was, you know, if, if you didn't know any better, you would have just been like, okay, I guess I'm not getting mag ride. Yeah, just so you guys know, a lot of dealerships have no idea about things. So you have to inform them. And a lot of times they're going to say to you, I didn't know that. I'm mm -hmm. glad you told me. So inform them, let them know this is the way that it is. Please double check for me. And then, you know, they might come back and say, you know what, you were right. Let's go ahead and order your car. Yeah, and that's another plug for this Discord app and service that we have going with Caleb helping manage that is, you know, everyone go on there, join, because you can message and get answers in real time, you know, from people like us that are kind of in the know. Um, because it is, it's changing every day. Yeah. So you just got to stay on top of it. But what you, you what you don't want is you waited this long. This was like Elijah's situation. He was, he was, quote, settling for this car. Right. And I'm like, you don't want to do that. No. You've gone this long and you yeah. came, you're at the finish line. Get what you want. Otherwise, you know, you, you want to have a big smile on your face the day that car is That's delivered right. and feel like it was everything that you wanted. So. I agree. Greg says, guns, drums, playing with my DJ turntables, being a great husband and dad, and simply being retired. I love it. I like all those things. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, man. Being retired sounds like a good hobby. Yeah, it does sound like a good hobby. I'm retiring in a few months. I'm riding off in my Corvette Z06. So does that mean you have a C8 Z06 coming or you already have a Z06? Uh, C7, C6, C5. Oh, so here's something. This is unrelated to that. We need to do a Google search on this because I don't know the answer. But uh, Ken Taylor says, can you set the car to start up 
and stay in another mode after other than touring what is the I, I, that i understand what he's saying can you do my mode jacob says he believes you can do my mode i'm sure he probably has it set to that in his car um, so yes, you can set it so that when you start it up, it stays in my mode or tour mode. I don't think you can do sport or any other ones. You definitely can't do Z. Um, so, so someone was telling me, I need to do some more research. I'm probably getting ahead of myself, but th this gentleman that I spoke to yesterday, he had it, he didn't show it to me, but there's a interface. I can't remember what the name of the company was that this works on the C8. So picture your moat, you hit it three times, lock three times and the top will actually go down and unlock three times the top will go up and then you can set it where when you lock it and you walk away your top will automatically go down it was like a, a override go back yeah 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 wow so this is an aftermarket part that you can buy and it does all this stuff sweet and he, he also gave me this i didn't even tell you this but if anyone i don't even know if i want to talk about it because i think you got to do a video on it at corvette World. all right well then maybe we'll do a video on it i'll give you a hint because Wes, I hung out with Wes. He's 6'5", right? And he has a C7ZR1. Oh, yeah. And we were at Trevor's, and this person there walked up to him and said, hey, if I can show you how to move your seat back another inch, will you buy me lunch? Nice. So there's a trick to with get... The ZR1. No, no. Oh. Any C7. You oh, can really? gain an inch. And I watched him do it, and it worked. All right. I know. I'd just leave it... <laughs> We'll, we'll, you'll have to go to Corvette World and show people. Uh, it's super easy. It takes 10 seconds. Was his name Bob? Nope. Did he say, I can help you? <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll talk about it after the show, but it was pretty oh, cool, and it hilarious. did work. I was like, that's a great hack that I think a lot of people have no idea about. That's awesome, man. Yeah. We'll have to do it. Yep. Uh, I heard some folks were disappointed at the lack of vendors at Corvettes of Carlisle this year. Did you notice this as well? Actually, I did last year, um, and this year it was pretty much the same. In 2018 and 19, it was amazing. There was endless amount of vendors. This year and last year, there were less. Yeah, and I, I think it had to do with you know. Yeah, COVID. I think next year will be a different story because yeah. with anything in these industries, you know, they ramp up. You know, their trailers and all their 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 vendor. Right. Uh, setups, right? Yeah. And I think they've all just kind of been dead for two years. They haven't done anything, right. and they haven't put the money and resources into it. So I suspect next year they will. Yes. Because I, I, I would agree. I was underwhelmed at some of what I would think are the big name uh, vendors in our industry, the presentation of it. Right. You know, McGuire's was the only one that I thought I was wowed by. You know, Sioka, eh. Lingenfelter, no. Right. So I, I suspect that'll change. Um, yeah, I do too. I mean, like I said, in 18, it was like mind blowing. And then 19 was the same. Yeah. Because you think about how these but, guys work, right? They get their set up and they may do 20 different shows a year where this year they may did two. So they're not, I mean, they're not putting the money into it. Even GM skimped on their setup in 2019. Really? GM had a ridiculous setup for their C8. Um, you could go inside, get out of the heat. Mm. And it was air conditioned and you could go in and look at all the different colors of, you know, everything. And they had a C8 sitting in there and you could watch videos and everything, seats, tires, wheels. It was all there. And uh, this year they didn't have it. Last year they didn't have anything like that. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit different, but it is what it is. Um, so... Would it be fair to say the 2024 C8 Z06 might have more horsepower? Probably not. They never changed the horsepower on any Z06 after they changed it on the C5. So the C5 started out at 385. Two years later, it was 405, or it might have even been one year later. Um, and then the C6 started out at 505 and ended at 505. C7, 650, ended at 650. So I don't think they're going to do anything with it. Um, what do you think? Same with ZR1. No, yeah, they won't. Like they ZR1 won't increase. There, there's no, there's no reason to. No. Even even if you dyno, it may be actually 10, 15 horsepower more, but right. they're not gonna change no. that. Mm -mm. So I think it's time to uh, give away some shirts. Yeah, let's do it. Before we do that, though, there was a couple questions about okay. the Borla exhaust, 
And Mike will tell you this because he's got some experience with aftermarket exhaust. So does Jacob, our producer. There's definitely a lot of brands out there. Borla happens to be, it seems like one of them that's better than some of the others. Yeah, but from a cost standpoint, and this is one vendor in Carlisle that crushed it, which was AW exhaust. Oh, yeah. I mean, if I had a dollar for every exhaust system they sold there, you'd yes. have a lot of money. I mean, they they had, what, eight lifts going? Which, all, by the way, all day long. did I even mention that they are a new sponsor? You hinted a little bit, but let's make it official. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> AWE decided to go ahead and sponsor the channel, and I actually have an AWE exhaust being made for the Captain America car. So Army Tricks is going bye-bye. And AWE is going to be replacing it. So the way they put it was this is a American made exhaust going on an amazing American C8 Corvette. Yeah. And I haven't, I have not purchased AWE exhaust or any exhaust from my car yet, but AWE would be on the very top of my list for a couple reasons. Price point. I mean, what is the price? 2200 somewhere around there? Um, no. Is it the more one, than that? Yeah, it's quite a bit more than that. Uh, I know the it depends. The racing what... system is, I believe, $2,400, 2500 Okay. And then the touring version is, I believe, 3200 Okay. Yeah. But it does exactly. sound really good, and it looks really good. You can just tell the quality. It's Oh, yeah. It's amazing. And they had, a, they had an awesome setup at Carlisle. I loved mm -hmm. how they had the the two C8s next to each other with the track and the yes. touring. So you could literally, they would actually get into the cars, turn them on, and they would rev them, and you could hear them yes. in person. So I thought that was really cool how they were doing that. And they guarantee that the engine light will not come on. They guarantee it. Yeah. So they figured it out, and it's, uh, it's going to be neat. I, I'm finally going to have an exhaust that works properly, even though I love the sound of my exhaust. Uh, the... The exhaust is finally going to work properly. I'm not going to have the check engine light on anymore, and uh, it'll be nice. So. Yeah, so AWE, everyone should check that out. I, I think it's probably $1,000 cheaper than the Borla. It's, Borla is expensive. And it's about 1000 cheaper than the Army Tricks, too. Oh, yeah. So, and um, For most of us, you start getting over you know three and $4,000 for yeah. exhaust, you have to ask yourself what you're doing. Yep. Because you're really just doing it for a little bit of sound. Right. You're not going to pick up much power, so. Yeah. So actually, if anybody's interested in that Armatrix exhaust, I may be selling it, or I may give it away. We'll see. So um, if you don't want the check engine light issue, it, they did give me an OBD port uh, little chip to plug in, and it does help that go away very quickly after you start the car. Mm. But I mean, it's still coming on. It's just faking the computer out. And so if you don't mind that, uh, you know, you may want to buy it. I may give it away. I don't know, but we'll figure that out. So let's go ahead and give away a couple of shirts. Let's make this. Really and I know he's got some really cool questions to ask you guys. So as we're going to well. do, we'll do the thumbs up one first again, large, extra large. So whoever wins, just let Mike know. He'll put in his email address. J rod says, I can't wait. Or I can't believe government motors screwed this up. Millions in marketing. Uh, we forget. We forgot, take them 2022 Z06 coming. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but um, I don't think we're going to be waiting till the 2031 for a Z06. But I understand it's very, very frustrating. Thank you so much for the uh, super chat, though. Appreciate it. All right. So let's do our first question, if everyone's paying attention. So what year of Corvette was the Grand Sport offered as a production model? The first year you could buy a production Grand Sport. That's a good question. Go. Yes, go. And remember that uh, it's what I see on my screen. There is a delay, so. All right, let's just, let's, we're, gonna, we're gonna shut it down because we, I already see an answer in there. Hit end. All right. Thank you, Jim Lee. Thank, thank you. you so much. So the correct answer is 1996. And I That's think what it's, I was going to say. I think it's our friend up north, Great White North Corvette, I believe. Let me let me check here. Be careful. I don't want to talk before here. 
No, it is. All right. Yep. Congratulations, Andrew. You won the shirt. Awesome. Uh, yeah, 1996 is the first year. As you know, in 1963, they came out with a uh, Grand Sport, but it was not a production car. It was a race car. Uh, and then in 96, they came out with one. They only produced it one year. And then after that, it, w it wasn't until... Uh, like Peter Carey said, 2010, that they started mass producing the uh, Grand Sport. So all through C6, three, C7, and now I think it's gone for C8. We're not going to have one. Okay, so my next question, I'm going to have to look up the answer because I already forgot it, but we're going to get to it. So we'll do the BOS G.I. Joe shirt, same deal, large, extra large. So here's the question. What was the first year that Corvette had three body styles offered? There's three body styles offered in this year. And I have yeah. to look up the answer. I know we Go. Earlier. I just want to make sure we got accurate. Wow. That, th there's not much of a delay now. This is awesome. Uh, let's see here. Where was that? I think it was somewhere around. Shoot. Where was that? Oh, here we go. 38. I already see somebody got the right answer. Okay, so. I just confirmed my answer. Let's go back up. Do we want to say the answer then? And yeah. I believe it's Vet Sweetness. 1999? Yeah. Yep, that's correct. Yep, Vet Sweetness is the winner. Congratulations. You won the BOS G.I. Joe shirt. Um, and by the way, always email me uh, that you are the winner of the shirt, what size you want, we have extra large and large in both or mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. We have extra large and large in both. And then obviously get me your address so that I can ship it out to you. So I'm going to put my email in here. There we go. So you guys will see that. Oh, sorry. That is not my email. I don't know what I'm thinking there. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was mixing two of my emails together. <laughs> so that last question, we too, because we were talking about it before the show, it was convertible, hard top, and coupe were the three body styles. Yes, that is correct. And that's where they, that's how they built the, the uh, Z06 was the hard top. So, and saved a bunch of weight. All right, so now I think uh, Jacob is going to give away the new Amador design sign that we tried to give away last week, but it did not work. So this week we'll go ahead and give it away, and he'll just need to pull up uh, the random picker that we use. While he's pulling that up, we'll talk about some more uh, comments here. 1991, you had the ZR1 Callaway base Corvette. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, Vet Sweetness says he's 6'6". Six, six. I can't wear extra large. Well, no, he can. Wait, 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 wait. You, you can't wear extra large? Do you need double X? Because I don't think we have any double. We X did, but they were popular. We'll we'll have more. I just if, don't know how soon. You know what? We might have another shirt in the bag that's double X though. If we can't get this one to you right away, I'll look in our bag of goodies that we have for giveaways, and I'll get you a double XL if that's what you need. Or well, you don't even know this. I've got some new shirt shirts in the works with. Um, oh. Yeah, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. You sneaky little... And it's going to be for all the Z06 haters. You are going to love this shirt. Oh, sweet. It's going to be amazing. All right. Uh, wait. What were the shirt sizes? He needs XXXL. <laughs> this is a shirt, not a tent. <laughs> <laughs> he says 3XL, or is it a belly shirt? Yeah. I'll take a green blower band. It's cool. Or wife wears medium. LOL. You know, you know what? You're in luck. Let's give him a blower band. That's easy. You sure you just want the blower band? All right. 
while while you're commenting on that, Jacob is ready to go. Let's see who the winner is of the Amador Design sign. Here we go. Dave Murphy. Well, congratulations, Dave. I don't see you on this live, but you are the new winner of the flag. So please shoot me an email. I'm going to put your name and my email as the pinned comment at on this uh, live stream once it goes to a replay. And uh, just email me your information, and I'll ship that sign right out to you. So congratulations again. Um, all right. Well, sorry about that vet sweetness, but we will make it up to you. We'll get you. And if you really need a triple extra large, I mean, just cause you're six, yeah. six. Send, send Mike your info. Yeah. Send me your info. When I get this new t-shirt design fully done, which should be literally maybe even today, we'll send you the design. If you like it, when we order the shirts, I will make sure we do a 3XL one for yeah, you. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. See, we take care of our people. Lance says, PPF, it, it is worth the money. I totally agree. Oh, Revo Lee is asking, does everyone PPF their Corvettes when they get theirs or just ceramic coat it? Well. There's a difference. There's a difference. Big so, difference. Yeah, Revo Lee, you, you may be new new channel. I think earlier you said that it was your first time on the live, but... We've done some videos in the past. There's actually a good video. Go back and check a live. It was it was when you were in Florida with Trevor. Yeah. It was probably two months ago. Um, I think the title was How to Make Your Corvette Look Like a Million Bucks or yes. something like that. But I think but, it was August 2nd. Okay. So our good friend Trevor, who owns a detail shop, very popular detail shop here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, he, he went over all that. But, yes, they're two different things. Um, PPF will actually protect your car from rocks and from small chips and scratches. Ceramic coating, very limited production or, or protection of scratches. I mean, you could argue it would help a little bit, but it's, it's generally more for the appearance of your car, or the cleanup of your car. With that being said, we all will vouch for ceramic coating your car. It's 100% worth it. Yes. Uh, especially and right, your wheels. and. Right now, if you're in the DFW, uh, Trevor's given out a pretty sweet special. Yeah, I think it's it. 700 and change. Yeah, so get your... Get your uh, PPF put on with whoever you like to do that and then bring it to Trevor and he'll ceramic coat over top that. All the uh, PPF and and uh, the places on your car that aren't PPF'd. So yeah, do and, that for and sure. And we, myself and Mike, did a video, a do-it-yourself ceramic coating video mm -hmm. back in, I think, February. Mm -hmm. Check that out. We'll be doing more of that too because we're teaming up with this Get Underdog and he has a, a sealant product out that I think we're going to be showing on wheels and our cars. Um, but definitely, you know, if you're the type of person that's comfortable waxing your car in the past and maybe, you know, paint correction is a whole other situation, but we break that down in that video. And, you know, we're, you were talking, were you there? We we're talking to Jason about? Yeah. yeah. Jason, where? Yeah. So, you know, if you follow those instructions that we laid out in our video that we did back in, uh, I guess it was January or February, you know, you can do it yourself. It's not hard to do. That's correct. And maybe practice on your wife's car so if you mess it up. Exactly. <laughs> but no, I mean, once you do one of your cars, you'll end up doing, you know, your daily drivers. Right. It's super awesome, especially on the glass. The water just flies off of it. The wheels makes it easy to clean up. So it's definitely worth it whether you do it yourself or pay someone to do it. So I want to get to a few comments here. Jim Lee says, if Dave doesn't reach out, I'll take it for him and hold it in my garage. That's hilarious. <laughs> Um, Speed Candy says, definitely get some inventory of 3XL. Okay. I would buy some shirts for sure because he's 6'5". So, yeah, we will. We'll, we'll get and some. And Speed Candy, do you have a C7 Corvette? Do you want to know how to get an extra inch in your, yeah, your, your seat? Your seat. This does. is going to be a great short video. It's literally, it's 20 seconds long. Actually, it surprises, it would surprise me if you did have a C7 because most tall guys can't fit in c Well, that's how this person started talking about it. Right. He was with his buddy that had one and he was the same size. Like, well, how do you fit in it? And he got in and he's like, how is this different? And he goes, Oh, there's this little hack. And so then immediately he went and bought one. This is a couple of years ago after nice. he figured it out. Cause he couldn't fit in it. Yeah. It was an inch was enough to make a difference for him. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big difference. So, um, all right. So should we do a, uh, 
Yeah, let's hold off on okay. that. That'll tie yeah. into my custom design Perfect. shirt that's coming. Hopefully, no, we'll see <laughs> next week. All right, we'll take a few more questions here. Let's see. Just to get everything installed first, Revo, then code it, and do your monthly hydro on your coating. This is There is maintenance. Okay, yeah. So I don't know if you need to do it monthly. Well, I think he's making reference to is all these aftermarket sprays have the hydrophobic properties oh, in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they will tell you the more you use it, the more it's the more, good, which yeah. is true. But just so people understand, to, to get the full effects of actually ceramic coating your car, you'd have to like wipe down your car like a thousand times. Right. So don't be too fooled by when they say, oh, it's the same thing. I mean, it's the same thing for a hot second until any water or you right. wash it and it's going to wash off. So. Right, right. But not to say you shouldn't use that. So, Stephen Rapp, thank you for the, uh, um, I can't even think of what it's called. The Floor mats. No, 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 no. The Super, oh, Super Chat. Chat. For some reason, I couldn't think of Super Chat. Uh, remember, I have a set of Jake mats and rock guards for your giveaways. Well, I do remember that. Um, how do you want to handle that? I think it'd probably be best if you ship that stuff to us so that we could ship it right out to the person. That way, we don't have to do like when someone wins it, send you their information, you ship it. I don't know. What do you think? If you want to ship that stuff out, we'll start giving it away right away. And do you want to trade for a bunch of t-shirts? Yeah, I mean, we could, yeah, we'll give you some t-shirts. Maybe we'll give Stephen Rapp first rights at my new t-shirt. There you go. I mean, he is a big contributor of this channel, for sure. So I'm not even going to tell you the design of the shirt. We're going to unveil it here. And either you're going to love it and do a cartwheel or... Or I'm going to hate it. No, you're going to love oh, it. Okay. I mean, I know you're going to love it. <laughs> so Peter Carey says, uh, P.S. Pee Wee Dan, which is hilarious that he calls this guy Pee Wee because he's like 6'5 or 6'6, six, six, who you met at Carlisle, would like to know how to get another inch in his 2019 ZR1. Uh, we need to do a video soon. Oh, we just need a C7. Because remember the ZR1 that I took you to that had the... It was white, or it was ceramic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, he's six six or six five. Yep. So he well, wants more room. Okay. Yeah. Um, we will. You, you just need to go down to Corvette World and find any C seven. Oh yeah. Well, there's plenty down there's there. There's plenty down there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but you need to come to show me. We need to just do a quick video. I can um, literally tell. I'll tell you after. It's literally that easy. Okay. All right. It's so easy. All right. I, I wonder if Robert knows. I'm kind of surprised. If he doesn't, he's going to love this. It's going to help him sell more cars. It probably will. I was really surprised. And and me and Wes were kind of looking at the guy. We're like, what are you talking? I'm like, is this a joke? And he did his thing real quick. I mean, it was that quick. And all of a sudden, Wes got in. He's like, you're right. What did you just do? And he told us and he showed me. I was That's like, That's oh, amazing. Okay. Um,. Somebody put a comment out here that I want to just read, and I think it it's being hit. No, maybe not. Where is that? For, for all They're of those. They're asking about being delivered. You know, I got a question for, for people in here, Great White, North Corvette, and a couple other people, because we actually have a lot of people up in Canada that follow us. Yeah. What What's the situation there when you're talking to your dealers about getting a car? Is it Has it been getting easier or harder or the same? I mean... Heck, if it's as hard as it is to get a car here, it can't be any easier there. No, no, If not, not no. much harder. And they have to pay a lot more there, too. Right. There it is. Who's videotaping your car being delivered? Todd. Oh, okay. So they're having a conversation between themselves. That's okay. Never mind. Uh, Todd, uh, he is at 3000 on a Z06. That's what they're talking about. Congratulations, oh, wow. man. That's awesome. That is amazing. All right. Well, what's the deal with getting a stingray faster? Daily electrician, what's going on, buddy? Um, you're coming in at the end, but basically uh, dealerships are getting a lot more allocations for C8 stingrays now. And so it might be time to, if you've not put in for a C8 Stingray, uh, go ahead and try and find a dealer that you might be able to get one quicker through now. Or if you currently have 
uh, deposit down at a dealership, you should call them tomorrow and find out where you're at now because last Thursday, they got a crap load of allocations. And I know you sold your C7 Stingray. I never have asked you if you're, you did that because you were planning on getting a C8 or not. So, mm. But I think that's going to wrap things up for today. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Real quick, if you haven't smashed the thumbs up button, please do so. If you're new to the channel as well and you like what you saw tonight, please consider joining by hitting the uh, red subscribe button and the bell for notifications. And uh, I hope each and every one of you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday night at uh, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Good night.